uh, welcome to basic electronics so in this session i am going to explain about transistors so transistor was invented in 1947 by john bardin and william shockley at bell laboratory in america so generally transistor means transfer of resistor trans resistor which means transfer of resistors the signal are transferred from low resistance to high resistance so this is the meaning of a transistor which transfer the signal from low resistance to high resistance so generally when two pn junction diodes are connected back to back then the resulting device is known as transistor so when the two pn junction diodes are connected back to back then the resulting device you can call it as a transistor so for a transistor it has three terminals one is emitter another one is base and another one is collector emitter can be represented as e base can be represented as b and collector can be represented as c so for di while discussing about emitter emitter is heavily doped as compared to the base and collector and emitter supplies the majority charge carrier and it is always forward bias with respect to the base next is base the base terminal is lightly doped and it is very thin and the next one is collector terminal the collector terminal is moderately doped that is the doping concentration is greater than base and less than the emitter so it is moderately doped and it is always connected in reverse bias with respect to the base so next is a transistor has two junction one is emitter base junction another one is collector base junction so from this it is very clear that a transistor is a three terminal that is emitter base collector and two junction semiconductor device the two junctions are emitter base junction and collector base junction so a transistor is a three terminal and two junction semiconductor device so generally the transistor is commonly known as bjt that is bipolar junction transistor why it cause bipolar means uh, the current conduction in transistor takes place both majority carrier as well as minority carrier because it has the name as a bjt that is bipolar junction transistor a transistor are classified into two types namely one is npn transistor another one is pnp transistor so first we discuss about uh, what is uh, npn transistor and pnp transistor in brief so this is the basic structure of a npn transistor and it is the basic structure of a pnp transistor when a layer of p type material is sandwiched between two layers of n type material then the transistor is known as npn transistor so when a layer of p type material is sandwiched between the two layers of n type material then the transistor can call it as a npn transistor and it is the circuit symbol of npn transistor here the arrow mark indicates the direction of current flow and next one is pnp transistor uh, when a layer of n type material is sandwiched between two layers of p type material then the transistor is known is known as pnp transistor so here n type material is sandwiched between two layers of p type material so you can call it as a pnp transistor and it is the circuit symbol for pnp transistor so the difference between the npn and pnp is so in npn the direction of current flow is downwards and in the direction of, and, and in pnp transistor the direction of current flow is upwards and we have to observe that as compared to the emitter area the collector area is very large as compared to the emitter and emitter area is greater than base but less than the collector so this is about uh, basics of transistor i hope you understand the concept of transistor thank you